Hello guys. Yes, this is not clickbait. This is so true. You can make that much with Canva animation. Let me show you how. This is a YouTube channel that creates kids video. And if you come over to this channel and check when it was created. This channel was created on May 1st, 2024. And it has this number of views. This channel has uploaded 92 videos with this subscriber so it means that this channel was uploading video every day on this channel and what videos are this channel making so let's see this channel uses basic canva animation to create the video so if we go over to social blade to see how much this channel is making we will see that in the last month this channel is making between this amount to this amount sometimes it's higher than what you see here this channel is just starting and it's still building and it's already growing this is not a get rich quick scheme so you have to put in the work and give it a year or two to start getting this level of earning so i'm not here to promise you that you're going to make this much on the first day i'm not saying you're going to have the same level of success this channel has but it is worth venturing and building upon I also have a kids channel if you want to see my analytics i will share that in a future video but for now let's go over to canva let me show you how they do this if you're a new beginner you just type canva.com it's going to bring it canva if you've not signed up you see a prompt to sign up and once you sign up you go over to video here and click on a blank page when you open Canva for the first time, this is what you will see. And you can also do this with your phone. If you've not seen my video on how to edit with Canva on your phone, I would link it in the description box. This is where you want to focus on the elements here. Once you open it, you search whatever element you want to add to your design page. But before you start designing, you would need a script, which is where ChatGPT comes in. So here on ChatGPT, you can ask it the kind of content you want to create to give you the scenes and how to generate the imagery. Let's ask ChatGPT 100 words that start with A for kids to build their vocabulary. It has finished generating it. I'm just going to copy it and go over to our blank page on Canva. And I'm just going to paste this word here. I will click on this plus sign to add a new page and move it over to the start. The first word on our list is Apple. So let's go to our first page. Let's go here and search for Apple. You might choose to use the graphics, the photos, or the videos. But for now, I'm just going to go over to the graphics here. I want to add an interactive apple. You can also choose to see if they already animated apple by using the filter here and checking the animated box. Let's go back. These are all the animated apple they have. I kind of don't like it. So I'm just going to stick with the one I'm going to create. Let me uncheck that. You can search for the apple you want to use. You can do this with a free account. You can do it with a pro account. Like now this apple is free. And if you want to search for more free apples like this, you click on these three dots here. And click on see more. Like I said, you can basically do this with your phone. So the same process. We are going through now it's the same process you can go through with your phone. I basically do my creation with my phone. <laughs> so all these elements are free. You can work on this with a free account and you can create magic with that. And for this apple now you can also customize the colors. Let's say you want to change the apple color a bit on touch it up. You don't kind of like this green. It has I want it to be more greenish. 
I want to touch up the red. You see, we've actually changed to what we got. We can make this black more black, but I don't think this is the black black. Now we're going to click the black. You see that, and we can make this white more white. Let me see if it's the white. It's the white white here. So you see how we change this element to look like something different on what we got. I like using cartoon apple because for the audience I'm targeting their children and making a video catch their attention is crucial. So I'm just going to click on this apple. I will quickly position both apples and customize the second apple we added. Let's go back to the element. Let's go over to photos. I like showing a photo and a graphic of what I'm trying to display in the video. This is my idea. You can use this element however you deem fit. And let's go over to our text box to add our text. Let's change the font of our text. Let's change the color of our text. Red. I'll go ahead and add each alphabet into a separate text box and change their colors. I'm done laying out my page. You can come and do some basic alignment to give you the beautiful look. Now let's go over to animate. Let me select all this one. Let's use the succession for this. Let's make the intensity high. Let's increase the speed. So let's animate another element on our design page. So we'll go with baseline animation and take it to coming from the side. I'm going to take this to coming slowly and I'm going to reverse the exit animation. Still on this element, let's go add a wiggle motion effects to it. If we increase it, this is what it looks like. Let's animate for this apple too. I'm still going to use the baseline. I want it to come from the down and I want this speed. Now reverse the exit animations. This the baseline animation too. And I want it to come from the side and I'll reverse the exits. And let's reduce the speed So, And for this element, I also animate with the baseline. This time I want it to come in from the right side and I'm going to reverse the exit and I'm going to add a wiggle. Let's go over to our apps and search text to speak. Let's click on this first one. Let's type as text. Choose English South Africa and leave the voice as female. I will leave the volume as default. I'm going to touch on the speed. I'm going to make it medium, not so fast. And the pitch I will leave at default. Let's create the audio. We'll hide our second pitch and let's preview the one we worked on now. Apple. I quite don't like the test to speech in Canva, but if you want to take it further, let's go over to Microsoft Clip Champ. When you come over to Microsoft Clip Champ, Click on try text to speech and when it loads down here, click on text to speech to open the text to speech pane. I'll leave the default settings, but you can set the language. They have variety languages here and I'll leave the voice as Sonia. I'll particularly go to advanced settings to set the pacing of my reading and add my text here. Then I'll preview. Apple. Yeah, you see that this is beautiful. I'm just quickly going to save this. And export. I will be exporting this as a video. Let's go over to camera. I'll quickly take out this and let's upload the file we got. Let's import this into our design and click on the three dots and extract the audio. Let's delete this. Apple. So try this and let me know what you think in the comment section. 
do well to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already i like this video for more people to see thank you so much for watching and do have a good one